Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 30th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. It was an overcast morning with calm winds, and BirdCast said that 400,000 birds migrated over Oswego County last night, so I got out and worked the hedgerows and didn't turn up too much, but it was a good morning to get out for a nice walk. Here's a belted kingfisher I photographed from the bluff. And also on the bluff was this female type black pole warbler. Notice the yellow legs and feet. Here's an alder flycatcher that was singing, thankfully, because that's the only way I can differentiate them from willow flycatchers. These two adult common loons were calling out on the lake, and it was really nice to listen to. By 10 a.m., the clouds were starting to break up, revealing some blue sky, and we had light to moderate southwesterly winds, and that launched a big raptor flight. Every time you think the season's over, hawkwatches like Braddock Bay and Derby Hill always show that they have a little bit of magic left in them. Between 10 and 11 a.m., we had over 1,000 broad-winged hawks migrate through in big kettles, and this big push of broad wings was every bit as impressive as some of the flights that we had during the peak time of the season. From the North Lookout today, we had 70 species. A lake breeze kicked in, so we moved down to the South Lookout around 1130, and those northerly winds continued the rest of the day. It was mostly sunny at first, and then as the day went on, there was a layer of clouds moving in ahead of tomorrow's rain. Here we have friend of the Hawk Watch Bill setting up for the first annual cookout at the Lookout. I say first annual because this is something that needs to become a tradition. We started off with some excellent hot dogs and then moved on to some of the most tender grilled chicken I've ever had. And we had some pasta salad, we had fruit, we had chips, we had cookies. It was just a really, really nice lunch here as we wrap up the season at Derby Hill. After stuffing ourselves, we eventually woke up from our food coma and remembered that we weren't done counting hawks yet. Here we have a juvenile broad-winged hawk that gave us a nice look. And here's a green heron that flew overhead, and I like their little orange feet that hang out behind. Here we have a common grackle that wasn't too happy that a northern harrier was wandering through its territory and chased it away. There were a few common nighthawks flying around in the afternoon, including this one that gave us an especially nice look. We had a nice flight of bald eagles today as well, with a total of 61. Here we have one that's an older immature. You can see it's starting to get its white head and white tail, but it's not in the full adult plumage yet. Here we have a hawk with a long tail and a large head, and we see a teardrop streaking concentrated on the upper breast. This is a juvenile Cooper's hawk, and it looks like it's starting to molt some tail feathers. It has kind of a split-tailed appearance. We already saw the tiny green heron, so here's the much larger great blue heron. And here we have the last migrant of the day with a juvenile broad-winged hawk, and with tomorrow's lousy weather forecast, this may very well be the final migrating raptor of the entire season. From the south lookout, we had 46 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 172 turkey vultures, 3 ospreys, 61 bald eagles. We had three northern harriers, two sharp-shinned hawks, and one cooper's hawk. And we had 1,443 broad-winged hawks and five red-tailed hawks for a total of 1,690 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 17,143 and the season total to 95,401. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, which is the final day of the hawk watch season, they're calling for cloudy skies with showers and reduced visibility with a high in the low to mid 50s and northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So those are overall very unfavorable conditions. And if it's going to be rainy like that with the unfavorable wind, then there probably won't be any raptor migration and the count may not even be held. So. We'll see what the weather's like in the morning, but there's a fair chance that the hawk watch won't be held tomorrow, or if it is, it will probably be greatly shortened. It could be a decent day for lake watching, though. 
All right, another great day out here at Derby Hill. We knew today would probably be the last day with an actual Hawk flight, and what a Hawk flight that we had, getting a 1,000 Broadwings in a single hour this close to the end of the season. Just really nice to end the season strong after all that terrible weather that we had last week. And we had a nice group of people out, and then we had that spectacular lunch. So thank you to Bill Satorius for putting that idea together and coming out and grilling the hot dogs and chicken. And it just really worked out nicely today. Great weather, great people. And it's just a really nice way to wrap up here as we come to the end of the Hawk Watch season. I will make a video for tomorrow, even if the count is not held. Like I said, I'll probably try to get out in the morning, maybe do some songbirds before the rain starts, and then I'll probably spend some time lake watching. But for the hawk migration, we're pretty much at a close. So uh, hope to see you sometime out at Derby Hill. Maybe not tomorrow, but uh, maybe next year. You never know. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I wrap up the season. And I might have some more content coming in the future as well. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.